Next up we have question 6 web design. We need to open the 6 Quirks web page in a web browser and also in a text HTML editor. Alright, so let's go open that one up. Open with Notepad++. Let's see. Doesn't actually pick it up here. I'll just open up the program. And then you can actually just drag the file into the program. And you can also open the file in Chrome or in whatever program you prefer. All right, so you may not use a word processing program such as Word to answer the HTML question. The question numbers appear as comments in the coding to guide you where to insert the answers. Do not delete these comments. We've got an HTML tag sheet at the end of the paper and your final web page should look like this example. Okay, so you can just refer back to this if you need to have a reference of what it should look like. Um, now, very important, one mark will actually be allocated for closing tags, triangular brackets and nesting correctly used. Right, so there's actually one mark, not for doing anything, just for answering the HTML question overall correctly. 6.1 Change the font of the level 1 heading to Vivaldi. So 6.1, there's the comment. So it's this heading 1. There's the font tag already. Now you're not allowed to add another font tag because you have to check what is already given. Let's just add our word wrap. So I'm just going to add the tag face or the attribute face and Vivaldi. There you go. 6.2. Set the width of the horizontal line to 60% and set the alignment to right. Six two. So width sixty per cent and the alignment right. There you go. Six three. Display the text, believe it or not, as a level 2 heading and in italics. Right, so this needs to be an H2. And it needs to be in italics. Now this is where that extra mark comes in. Your nesting order needs to be correct. So if the H2 is on the outside, then the italic needs to be on the inside or the other way around. So the italic can be on the outside and the H2 on the inside. Now I just want to make you aware of something. Um, for the past few years, the person setting the HTML question has been doing it this way. And this is the old way of coding where they actually um, have a section of the top of the page in the head. Okay, now in the modern day of HTML coding, this is completely wrong, but just leave the way it is. If it's not causing any problems, just leave that. I don't know why they still do it this way and why they give it to you this way. I have complained and I have raised my concerns, but it doesn't cause any problems. So just don't fiddle with it as long as it doesn't cause any problems. Um, but I can't imagine that they will actually penalize you or give a, an error or worry about it if you do actually correct it for them. All right, 6.4, let's see. 6.4, create a link on the text eccentricity to link to a target location that has already been created towards the end of the web page. So now, 6.4, Here's the text eccentricity. This is the one that we have to link. Okay, so let's actually start that. This is going to be 
the anchor and we're going to put in an, a hyperlink reference but now we need to find out what the target location name is um, so we need to go see towards the end of the page aha here is the target location the name is weird so we can go up and the hyperlink reference will then be hashtag weird that's how you link to a target location save refresh and if you want to test that let's just zoom in and click and it jumped there you go right six five add tags to display the items stealing pens carrying around guns and making time capsules in a list with a number format a b c right 6.5 here it is so this will then be a ordered list hey because we actually have an abc so it's one big ordered list the type is a b c and each of these are a list item which we also need to end correctly. All right, let's see, save and refresh. There you go, 6.6. .6. Modify the table as follows. Set the cell spacing to six. Table. Cell spacing, one word. The first cell should span over three rows and contain the text weird quirks. So let's see what it's supposed to look like. You see here, weird quirk. So it's over three rows. It's one cell that spans over three rows. Okay. So this is the first row. Let's just see what's going on here. So I'm just going to put table data tags around it. And then we'll put row span three. Let's see. There you go. Now we don't have the last um, row yet, so don't worry about that. I'm sure that's the next instruction coming now. The image six Michelangelo found in your examination folder should display correctly. So. I think the code is there, but it's not displaying correctly. Okay, see, now we can actually see it's SCR instead of SRC, and they left out the file extension. Now let's just double check what the file extension is. Now we can see that in many ways. I can see that already here from the type. Um, you can also switch on your file name extensions by, by, to see it like that, or you can go to properties and check over here that it's a .jpg. All right, so let's just go add in that. And then we should have our picture there. There you go. Then the text stole pens, never bathed and carried a gun must appear in the third row of the table. Let's just see our screenshot. Do you see, Dali stole pens, Michelangelo never bathed, and Picasso carried a gun. So let's go do that. So the data is there. Stole pens, never bathed, and carried a gun is there. It's just not in the third row. At the moment, it just carries on next to the, in the second row. Okay. 
So all we need to do is we need to add the table row that ends for Michelangelo, Picasso, and Dolly, and say that the new row starts here. Okay, like that. There you go. All right, almost done. Last one. 6.7, modify the code of the text shocking but true to display in bold. Ensure that the text will appear below the table instead of above the table. Right, so this should be bold. Let's just first make it bold. Okay, and then it should be below the table instead of above it. Now the reason it's below the table, or the reason it's above the table, is because something in the table is malfunctioning. So if you just click on the different tags, you can see where it starts and ends, starts and ends, starts and ends. Um, so if you click on the first table tag, you'll see table was never ended, and that's why it's actually malfunctioning. So if we end table, that should fix it. There you go. Shocking but true at the bottom now. Right, and we've saved the whole time, so we'll be done then. We can just double check that everything looks the same then. Shocking but true, yes, we've got ABC. And the rest looks the same. We've got our link, the Valdi, and we're done.